just heard me play Blues in the Bottle in Lightning Hopkins style and for a change on a nylon string guitar because well someone said when I uploaded a video on the folklore ovation I played a couple of weeks ago you can't play blues on that you can play blues on any guitar it's not important with what you play it's important what you play I think okay I'm in standard tuning there are my E's and if I tap that, the basic arrangement, and if you're interested in the tap, just open the video description, there's information on that. Also, I made a link to the version of Lightning Hopkins, and he plays it also in E, but he's tuned down a full step, so his E sounds like a D, like that. And uh, he plays it slightly different, but well, that's understandable, of course. So, let's go over the arrangement and I'll play it slowly and uh, we'll go through it after that. Sorry, here we go. Starting out, well, the, you heard the bass is of course what I call the country blues bass. You see my hand going like that a bit. I'm playing f open and more than one string, the sixth and the fifth, sometimes even the fourth, and then I mute it. So it's not muted like that or not open. Slide up to the 5th fret, 2nd beat, twice open and then a slide bend. And we're repeating. And notice that in between those two measures the bass, there's nothing much happening in the trebles, well nothing <laughs> in any way, so you can exit the bass a little bit. You can slide down that fourth fret. I pour down. Then the third measure. Two slightly bends, not not fulls, just a little bit. And when we go to the E7. Measure uh, five, four, sorry. 
Up and down throughout there. You can do that with a finger. Up and down with the fingers, if you want. Now we're going to the A. So we're staying on those three inner strings. And when it comes to the vocals, you this is a really low singing song because blues in the bottom, blues in the bottom, stop her in my hand And normally that A is higher because but yet you sing low, you sing an octave lower. So it is possible that you if you're not if you can't reach that try out with a capo position where the the A position suits your voice. Blues in the bottom, stop in my hand. So we were at the A. I'll do the vocals uh, after this uh, in its total. Double bass. Nothing much happening, so we do a little bit bass. Let that ring. Sorry. Slide and let it ring into the next beat. So, one more time from the fifth measure. quick slide down from the fourth fret to the third, second frets on the third string. E7 again. And now we go to the B7. In a B7 you don't have much, um, well, let's say, uh, improvisation room in the treble, so I often do a, diff a little bit of a improvisation or variation in the bass. Like that. after the B7 one measure to A. And you can fool around with that of course. It's a quick slide to the partial uh, D7 chord moved up to the fourth fret so you have an E7. Okay, I slowly sing it slowly and softly so you can hear where the words fit. Blues in the bottom, blues in the bottom, stop her in my hand, I'll go Blues in the bottom, stop her in my hand. If you want to be my woman, and you see that in measure 10, where I play it in the introduction, when I'm singing I'm playing more or less what I do in measure 5. So let's go back to the ninth uh, measure, B7. that also on the vocals because well the trebles follow the vocal line so you're gonna have little differences in the other verses of course. I didn't provide the lyrics you can google the lyrics for blues in the bottle and you'll find plenty of uh, 
lyrics. It's only that first verse that talks about blues in the bottle. <laughs> All the other verses are, well, sort of randomly chosen. You can sing whatever you want here. Now, I did a solo, I didn't tap that out, uh, because, well, it was purely improvised. When I do that, I know, okay, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do a slide, and in the A, I'm going to... I'm going to do something like this, but how exactly I'm going to do that, that's always a bit open for interpretation. So I'll show you what I probably did. So... Uh, Alright, for a solo. So, I'm going to the 7th fret and 8th fret and open. And while I'm playing that open string, I have time to move to the 2nd fret of my 5th string and do a slider. Do that twice. Now I'm going to resolve that. I'm going to play in E7 because, well, this is an E chord. In fact, it is your first position A chord, moved up, and if you arrive here, well, you got an E. And it's the same in, in, in a way as your E chord, third and fourth, uh, sorry, uh, second and third string. And you can play that. You can play that here too. And with the bend, of course. Okay. Something like that. And you can use the third string to slide down. And then we go to the A, and there I did something what's uh, typical of uh, Josh White. Something along that. You see, you can improvise third fret, fifth fret, seventh fret, and start with that hammer on the second string. Open first and second. So open, open and fifth fret, open and seventh fret, and going down, doing the same. And tons of variations possible. Mm -hmm. So. And resolve to the E back. And then I did I did something very fast, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but what you could do is a slide on the fourth string, sorry, the third string to the fourth fret, and open second string. Bend the second string, third fret, open and. Tons of variations possible, of course. And then, as a variation with the B7, you could do um, instead of a steady bass, an alternating bass. Like that, and add adding whatever on the second and the third string when holding the chord. again doing something in the A okay I think
think that covers it. So use your imagination a little bit and have fun with this little tune.